Nice. this thing hey guys thanks for tuning in so thousand round test and review of the sig sour p365 i put 1000 rounds of blaze of brass 115 grain nine millimeter through this p365 right here now i'm sure you guys have all heard the issues the 365 has had since it's actually kind of came out um, a while back now this one was actually manufactured in april 25th 2019 i picked it up in may and i've been taking it to the range a few times uh this past summer as well as carrying it for concealed carry we'll talk about that um but has eaten every single one of these rounds no problems no issues whatsoever and i do have a whole box of spent shells to show you guys some examples on what's really happening currently with something one of the sig p365s that came out in spring 2019 so let me show you guys a close up here and talk about what we're looking at here so here she is right here, the Sig Sauer P365. All right, so like I said, it is a 10 round, semi-automatic, nine millimeter. It comes with two mags, it comes with a 10 round magazine right here with a kind of a pinky extension right there and a 10 round magazine with a flush fit base plate on there. All right, you can also buy the 12 round magazines as well as a 15 rounder that they just came out with. But it is a very small, nice compact nine millimeter like i said thousand rounds for this one i cleaned it when i first got it just to kind of make sure all the oil and gunk from the factory was out of it and now i have not cleaned it since that thousand rounds so i will tell you even dirty it does run just fine uh the night sights have held zero just fine no, nothing flying off or anything like that no breakages anything like that um now you've heard the issues with the 365 right striker drag is a big problem as, as well as a few other kind of smaller issues that people were reporting early on so i want to show you this bit of brass right here okay so take a close look at this brass see that all right now this brass right here you're going to see every single one of these pieces of brass here have a kind of a drag mark all right away from where the striker with a firing pin hit the primer see that every single one has a drag mark this is out of a thousand rounds this is kind of an example from a couple from each box is what i was grabbing off the ground just to kind of show you guys there is an issue with striker drag still even as april 2019 when they just kind of started kind of fixing the issues months and months ago but even now throughout the summer there's still issues with it now is that a, a bad thing not really i mean what what could be happening is it's just dragging it by design and what's kind of cool is it might actually not break the striker but then again it might so let's take a look inside here and show you guys what the inner workings of this 365 are and we'll walk you through what we're looking at for the striker one thing else i want to note the finish on these are amazing all right they have held up great um and really i cannot complain especially since i've been concealed carrying this in a appendix rig holster uh with a spare magazine and i gotta say it's held up great and like i said i do think it is a very reliable handgun i really hope that striker isn't going to break down the road but right now it's holding up great and i kind of want to take a look to see if there's any weird wear marks so i will show you guys how to take this apart and take out that striker um, but i do want to show you the trigger up close real quick um it is a decent trigger honestly i mean it's very comparable to my shield so you can see you got some take up right here all right hit the wall kind of a mushy break all right so it's, it's not it's not terrible though nice audible reset it's a little better and the more you shoot it the more you can kind of really get a feel for it so just put a lot of rounds through it and you can definitely tell even at 30 yards i mean you're hitting hitting steel <laughs> so i can't complain i mean i almost think i shoot this better than my shield for sure it is it's just a great angled grip great kind of fills your hand too for what it is i mean you put that 10 round mag in there 
and it really fills it nicely. Uh, the texturing is not bad. Um, some of the extended mags, like this one here, you might wanna hit with a thousand grit sandpaper a little bit, because if you put it in a Penix rig and that's rubbing up on you all day, especially a hot, sweaty summer day, um, that might get kind of annoying a little bit, um, or just wear an undershirt, of course, but this thing fills it up really nice. Here's one of the 12 rounders, fills it up even better. And then here is the flush. And there you can see this one is, of course, kind of more of a deep pocket concealed carry if you want. This is kind of the larger end of a pocket carry, to be honest with you, but it can be done. So to disassemble the P365 for cleaning, go ahead, check to make sure she's empty, lock that slide back with that slide lock right here, push up on it, go ahead and flip that takedown lever straight down, and SIG has made this very easy. Watch this. All you gotta do is pull back and go ahead and push all the way through to the forward position. No need to pull the trigger or anything like that. All right, there's some of the internals right here. You can see it definitely is gonna need some cleaning, but it doesn't look like there's any kind of crazy wear. Even the rails look really nice for what they are. I'll probably do a separate video on some deep cleaning for this, kind of show you guys how to clean this, but this is what I really wanna look at right here. Nice and filthy. All right, barrel looks really good. No issues. Good cleaning, it will nice and clean right up. Just some basic wear on there. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. Yeah, that'll clean up nicely, look at that. Yeah, let me show you guys how to take out the striker firing pin mechanism. So you can kind of take a look at that, see how that striker firing pin tip is looking. So to take out your actual firing pin mechanism inside the striker channel right there, there's a little plunger right here and you're gonna to want to have maybe like a bullet tip. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and insert the bullet tip, push towards the end of where the barrel would be, and then this back plate will slide up. So it's tore. so of course, we're, you know, this is upside down, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and release the pressure on that retaining spring right there and slowly pull this plate up while holding your finger there because this firing pin is under spring pressure a little bit. It will get caught by this plunger right here, which is the next step. You actually wanna push in and then pull out. All right, release some of that pressure. And just hold it down because you wanna make sure you clear all that spring there. So real quick, take a close look at this right here. Now, of course, this is just looks pretty good no real crazy wear or anything like that and as of april even with that striker drag i haven't had any issues or malfunctions definitely no breakages but if you really look at what this tip looks like it's not that bad it's not like cracked or worn down anywhere the, pro the actual firing pin tip looks pretty good honestly i cannot complain and i don't know if there's gonna be a problem with this i mean only time will tell most likely but to put this back in, all you do, hold that plunger down, all right, till that lines up right there. You can kind of see how this goes back and forth. Put the plunger in, all right, and now this is the tricky part. This part needs to go in just a little bit, all right, while pushing this part down. So you push it in like that, push this button right here down, push that in, take your back plate, put it on the other way, and you're good, good to go. So putting this back together real quick, I'll show you guys, barrel, back in like that, spring, guide rod, slide it back in its little place there. You're gonna want to actually make sure this lever is back down to where it was, because you're just gonna slide it on and back, and when you slide it all the way back, this lever is going to pop back in place. So to get you a better feel on why this 10 round mag is so revolutionary, I want to show you the comparison between the Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm Gen 1, SIG P365, and the Ruger LCP2. All right, the Ruger LCP2 is obviously a 380. It is a kind of a primarily a pocket gun, very small, all right? Kind of hard to handle, to be honest with you, and we'll do a comparison on actually shooting these in a second, um, but it is a, it's a decent little plinker, really. I mean, it's a good pocket gun. I've carried it for a while now. I've done a few reviews on it, but it only holds six rounds of 380. all right? Of course, the 365 holds the 10 rounds, nine millimeter, and then the closest that I have to the 365 is the Shield nine millimeter, okay? So the Shield nine millimeter, 
is still smaller than the SIG P365. And the worst part is, it's even, the actual where the base plate is, is gonna extend out with the eight round mags. And that's the part that really matters when you're trying to conceal carry. It's not really the barrel length, it's gonna be this grip right here. But look at that, the print on this right here, it is just much, much smaller in my opinion. And honestly, I think it's actually an easier gun to shoot and an easier gun to shoot well, all right? Which is incredible for the size. I think they really hit it out of the park here. All right, now if you go ahead and load in a mag, let's say eight round mag here, 10 round mag in the 365. Once again, you can kind of see the difference here. It is still very small. I mean, look at that, that's crazy. Sorry, someone's shooting over a couple bays over, but I just wanna show you guys. 10 round mag, eight round mag. It really is incredible on what SIG did with that mag. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm on hour three at the range to film a couple of reviews today. So, I always bring something to eat. I picked up a bulk box of these Cliff uh, Nut Butter Filled. They are by far the greatest snack on the range. So, eat up, link down below in the description to Amazon, hydrate, be safe, have fun. So we're about seven yards away from that steel target right there. Up first is gonna be the Ruger LCP2 in 380, six round mag. All we're gonna test here is kind of shootability, some accuracy, and compare this, the shield, and the SIG P365. This, of course, is all subject to your ability, but it's gonna get you a good idea on how these all shoot. All right, all six rounds, right in the middle there. Not too bad, Let's try the shield. So what's funny is I've been carrying this shield nine millimeter for years now, right? I've done a bunch of reviews on it. It seems kind of big now compared to the SIG 365, and of course it's always been big compared to the uh, Ruger LCP2, but it's always been a joy to shoot compared to the Ruger LCP2, but I still think the SIG might beat it out. Let's try this shield out anyways. So except for that one flyer down there, I do think the group is a little bit smaller than the Ruger LCP2. So definitely still a good contender. Let's try the SIG. So now of course the SIG 365 feels really great in the hand, even with just a little pinky extension there. It's somewhere in between the Ruger LCP2 and the Shield, and it's kind of just a perfect size. It really is. So see how the accuracy is. And uh, kind of compare, I did spray paint, kind of a fresh coat of paint there, but you kind of know it's kind of a fifth size on that target from the other two. Let's see how 10 rounds does. Yep, I think it's way more accurate. <laughs> I was taking my time and that thing is perfect. Perfect, 10 rounds. Great gun, I mean, you can really shoot this all day, which is very incredible. It's just something about it that fits your hand perfectly. All right, so let's try some really close accuracy on some paper here, kind of see what we can do at different ranges. So something a little different for the 365, we're at 10 yards, paper target. There are four diamonds, one in each corner on the target, 12 round mag, three rounds per diamond. Something I do wanna note is that slide release very easy and the slide itself the spring very easy really just a great all-around gun and if you're looking for something for maybe someone with even some weak hands i highly recommend this right here i really do um if you're interested in picking one of these up by the way i'm gonna put a link down in the comments below all right three rounds each diamond So size comparison, there she is right there. You're looking about about a four inch group, top left, about a maybe three inch group, top right. They kind of closed up a little bit down here, about a uh, one inch group right here on the bottom right. And then right here it opened up a little bit, about a three inch, of course that's 10 yards, but really, really not bad. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this review on the SIG P365. Awesome little shooter, very reliable, very accurate. And until that firing pin breaks, 
I'm gonna keep carrying it, I'm gonna keep shooting it, put a lot more rounds in it. We're already over the thousand rounds actually. Today I've been just running new boxes of ammo. I already ran out, so awesome little shooter. Pick one up if you haven't already. I'll drop a link down in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions, hit them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay tuned for a cleaning video. She really needs it, so I'll do a review on how to clean this guy right here. But like this video, subscribe to the channel, like our Facebook page for all the best deals on the internet for anything firearm related and outdoor related, outdoor enthusiast channel, and I'll see you in the next review.